What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about easily one of the most bonkers films I have seen in all of 2024 and that film is called The Substance. Written and directed by Coralie Fargiette, this film stars Demi Moore, Margaret Qualley, Dennis Quaid, and many more. So going into this film, I had honestly never seen a trailer for it. I had hardly heard about this film in any way, shape, or form. I hadn't seen any of the marketing. But over the course of the last week, I started to hear a huge ramp up about this film, not only from my peers, but also just within the movie world. I saw that it was getting a lot of good reviews from a lot of people that I trust or people that I know in the world of talking about movies online. And so it definitely sparked my interest. Add in the fact that you have a horror movie here that has a lot of body horror elements and you have people like Demi Moore who I haven't seen in a movie in quite some time in the lead role and people like Margaret Qualley and Dennis Quaid. All of that had to be like, okay, I definitely want to check this out if people are saying this is a horror film that you have to see in 2024. And the way I could start off this review right now would just to be that this is easily the craziest film I've seen this year. Without a doubt, the most bonkers, wacky, out-of-this-world film that I have seen this year. It is the bloodiest film that I've seen this year. And if you were a fan of body horror, over-the-top gore, ridiculous premises that go full balls to the wall, then you are going to enjoy this film in a lot of ways. Now, I do have my gripes with the film, but I can start this off by saying that I was actually really impressed with this film. I found it to be incredibly well made when it comes down to the technical aspects, the cinematography, the sound design, the overall look and feel, the costume design throughout the course of the film, the locations that were used throughout the course of the film, and the performances are really, really great, with Demi Moore giving a fantastic central performance here, and Margaret Qualley giving also another fantastic performance here. Easily, some of the best work that both of these actresses have ever done and when it comes down to the technical aspects of this film and just how it was made overall as a film fan as a fan of horror i was incredibly impressed by how well made this film is with that said though this isn't the kind of film that i could see myself revisiting too often it is a film that you definitely have to be in the mood to check out but now having seen it i can see it being one of those movies where i'm like hey i want to show this to somebody just to get the reaction of how absolutely insane this film is with all that said though this is a film that like I said I went into with very little knowledge on and I think that did me a service other than the fact that I knew that there was body horror elements of this film and that people were saying this movie is crazy and that it was a wild ride I didn't really know too much about what this movie was about so I think that that's going to be the best thing I could do for you guys as well is to kind of do you guys a service of giving you a very vague approach of what this film's about without getting too deep into it Let's start off with what this movie is all about, where it focuses on the character of Elizabeth Sparkle, played by Demi Moore. And at the beginning of the movie, we're introduced to the fact that she's in her later years of her celebrity status. That celebrity status has kind of begun to fade away. She's no longer the young, hip, incredibly popular version of who she was when she was incredibly young. And this ends up leading her to trying this black market drug known as the substance that eventually ends up allowing her to become a younger more attractive version of herself and i'll leave it at that and it's kind of interesting that i'm covering this movie right now because the last movie i covered on the channel and the movie i watched last night was a movie called a different man starring sebastian stan and both films tackle the idea of beauty standards in the world how we are perceived and how a lot of times our own personal perception of ourselves will lead us to make choices that ultimately do us a disservice and so while the, both films are done completely differently and they are by no means the same film, they do have similar themes. And I just thought it was interesting that there was two movies I watched in, in, in two nights that are both very artsy, very ambitious, very strange and bonkers in their own ways and very much have kind of a similar thing to say. But when it comes down to this film, The Substance, it definitely swings for the fences. And what I can say about this film is that when it hits, it absolutely hits. Now, there are parts about this film I wasn't crazy about and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But I thought that this film did an incredible job of tackling the idea of beauty standards in this world. In the world of social media, especially in the world of Hollywood, in the world of the entertainment world, and especially now in this era of the influencer era, you have this world that we live in where there are so many people that are willing to put on this fake persona. They will sell the idea that they are this beautiful individual when behind the scenes, a lot of times there are surgeries that they have to go through. There is medication that they're taking. There's all these things that they're doing that are diminishing who they are, taking away from who they are, putting themselves through pain to ultimately make themselves appear more and more beautiful to audiences or to anybody that they see and just using online social media and stuff like that. They have a, a persona of themselves that ultimately is fake and how over the course of time even though you know it's easy to get all the the compliments and they absorb all of that 
what we don't know that's happening behind the scenes a lot of times is a broken person who is just seeking validation through all of these efforts. And in the world of entertainment, I think it goes without saying at this point that we've seen so many beautiful women and handsome men that have undergone tons of surgeries and different kind of things to alter their appearance to make themselves more attractive, only for them to eventually become unrecognizable. And those attempts to look younger, to feel younger, ultimately just make them look less human in a lot of ways or less normal less attractive it ends up kind of doing the opposite effect we've seen it with so many celebrities in the world and i think that we consistently see these beauty standards forcing people to make these crazy decisions in their lives that you know again feel great in the moment maybe when they do look at their very peak of what they think is the best they're getting those compliments they're they're getting the likes on social media they're getting the gigs in the entertainment industry but again behind the scenes what's what's behind the camera when things are not necessarily being recorded or having a photo taken and oftentimes can be a lot of darkness, oftentimes can be this incredibly different persona. And I think that Demi Moore does an incredible job here showcasing that side of this whole thing here. You have Margaret Qualley as that younger version in the film. And I think the two of them, the duality of these two characters, I thought was incredibly well done here. And I think this is easily some of the best work both of them have ever done. Now, the film also is incredibly bonkers and bizarre and lives in this heightened reality. And a lot of that is mostly seen through some of the side characters with the most notable one being the character of Harvey played by Dennis Quaid. He plays an executive at a network television station who has worked with Demi Moore's character but now finds himself working with Margaret Qualley's character and he's all about young, sexy, new, fresh, making it something that's going to appeal to audiences and he very much is hamming it up in this role and that's where a lot of the parts I liked about this film lied and some of the stuff I didn't like about this film lied. On one hand, I appreciated this heightened reality, the fact that the film is poking fun at reality in a lot of ways and, you know, using this really wild over-the-top tone to kind of tell its story and get its message across. However, there were moments in this film where I did feel like that heightened reality and that bonkers, bizarre nature sometimes held the film back from, you know, maybe conveying that message the best it possibly could. There were times in this film where I felt like it was leaning a little too heavy into some of the sex appeal and leaning too heavily into some of the bizarre elements that oftentimes made the film feel a little bit over long in moments and a little bit redundant scene to scene. With that said, though, I think once you get into where it really starts to take off in the second and third act, especially with the third act just being absolutely bonkers, the movie completely goes off the rails, but in the right way. The movie just completely just loses it, but in every way that can possibly be awesome. I think the first act of the film does a great job of setting up this premise, but it starts to kind of lose a little bit of steam for me as we were moving into the second act. But once things start to pick up again in that second act, I just found that the whole last half of the movies just goes balls to the wall in all the right ways. I was so impressed with the performances. I was so impressed with all the practical effects, the costume design, the locations used, the cinematography, the editing of this film, the sound design. It's incredibly, incredibly grueling to watch at the end too. The film gets bloody and all kinds of crazy when it comes down to body horror, horror which really lent itself to some incredible practical effects. If you're like me and you love practical effect makeup and monster makeup and all these different things that make a movie feel eerie and creepy and unsettling to look at you are gonna love the last act of this film i thought it just went completely crazy in so many ways that i really really loved but even in that third act and like some of the other stuff that i've mentioned there are moments where i feel like maybe they went a little bit too far into the bazaar and it took away from a little bit of what the film was trying to say to me with that said though i do feel like this is a really well-made film and it's one of those movies that you see the premise if I was to read this premise on paper, I think that this film pretty much conveys that premise and gets across what it's trying to do probably the best it can. While I have a couple of gripes here and there about a couple of things, it's one of those movies that you can see had a vision and I think that they ultimately executed on that vision. With that said though, I am a fan of horror. I am a fan of over the top, gory, crazy, bizarre films and, and, and body horror. If you are not a fan of those things, if that kind of stuff does not speak to you, then you're not going to enjoy this film. And I feel like I should also add a trigger warning for some people. There is a lot of nudity in this film as well, which may not sit well with many audience members. And there is a lot of use of needles in this film. So if you are somebody who has a fear of needles, I feel like I should warn you that you're probably going to 
cringe many times in this film, not from the excess crazy blood and guts and gore that ends up appearing in this film later on, but from a lot of the needle play, because there is a lot of needle play in this film, and I know a lot of people who are afraid of needles that probably weren't feeling super comfortable watching this film, or would not feel super comfortable watching this film. In a lot of ways, this film does the right things to make you feel uncomfortable about the right things, and in some areas, I do think it kind of leans a little bit too heavily in some things that I feel sometimes undercuts its overall themes and messaging, but overall, I was incredibly impressed. I think this is a film that is a standout, absolutely insane, bonkers horror film in 2024. By the time we get to the end of the year, while this is a film I can't necessarily see myself wanting to revisit all the time, I don't necessarily see it kind of joining the Halloween rotation for me. This is the kind of movie that I think people are going to want to show friends and family members just to see their reactions to the insanity of it. I can see this movie being one of those things where it's like, hey, I saw this movie. Let me get a group of my friends who haven't seen this movie to go and see it at theaters. So I can see this kind of becoming one of those cult classics that's like, hey, you need to see this insanely crazy film. And on that level, I think that the film really executes. And I think at the end of the day, when it comes down to the film's messaging and themes about, you know, beauty standards and the, the lengths that people are willing to go to to achieve these beauty standards and how it tends to kind of eat away at who they actually are, I think this film really captured it incredibly well in this incredibly bizarre and wild film. So that's going to be my thoughts on the substance. And I look forward to hearing various opinions on this one. I do not think this film is going to work for everybody. I think there are going to be some people who are not going to enjoy this film and feel like it just went too far in the bizarre for them. And I feel like I could totally respect that. This isn't one of those films that I'm willing to die on the hill for. This isn't one of those that I'm like, everybody's going to love this great horror film, uh, the horror film of the year. But it's certainly a really strong one for me. It stood out to me. But I am a fan of these kind of movies. I am a fan of films that swing for the fences like this. And even with the things I didn't like about this film, there was so much more that I enjoyed that outweighed the negatives for me. And I was really into it. But at the same time, the second the movie was over, I was like, that's not going to work for everybody. So I look forward to seeing all the various comments down below in this video. Some people are going to tell me they think this movie is ass. And I think I totally get it. So a big thanks to you guys for watching. Hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed the video. And comment your thoughts. What were your thoughts on the substance? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Whatever the case may be. I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye-bye.